perfect. Uh, first off, Brandon, Benjamin, and Spencer, thank you for taking your time with all the series. I love what I'm seeing so far, and I love what you guys and, and the girls did. I think the characters are what sticks out to me in the series, and congratulations. Thank, thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you, you man. Man. Thank you. Thank so, you. Thank uh, you. First question open to the three of you. And I, I, I think a lot, I have this question because I think a lot of people, not only young people, and a lot of uh, couples are not related to the story and the characters specifically. And I know other characters are dealing with a lot of uh, inner demons. They're battling their inner demons. If you had a chance to speak to them individually, what would you tell them as advice with those battles, to deal with those battles? Uh, Brandon, you first. Me first. Uh, what would I tell Evan to deal with? I think he has to commit to something and deal with whatever he's dealing with as opposed to putting it to the side. I think he has some things he needs to deal with with his dad and life. And I think when he addresses those things, he'll be able to be happier and and live a, live a meaningful life. Spencer. Uh, I think uh, Wrigley is you know, cares a lot about Drew. Um, I think it's kind of his heart in many ways, but um, he he doesn't deal with it in the most intelligent, uh, well, I don't want to say intelligent, but I, cause like at that, when you're 21 years old, I mean, right, right. but, but looking at it, I am like, ah, I, feel, I wish he had a little bit more wherewithal to um, be able to see how to help his brother rather than just be like, have a good time, you know? And uh, yeah. As Benjamin, I, your your answer how would it um you know just when you're having a, a lot of hard times in life and uh everyone's talking crap about you i don't think you should go talk to you know your loved ones about it. i think you should just sit alone in your room and have a couple of drinks um i i love what spencer just said about drew um, because i think the, the the two of you i mean both uh, spencer and benjamin just what, what happened to the two of you to me it, it works so well so i have a question for benjamin about drew and drew mm -hmm. is still finding himself he's, he's dealing with a lot of stuff and he looks up at Rickley as his big brother so much but also Rickley's dealing yeah. with stuff, right so uh -huh. uh, are we are we just it's true just 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 going about it as he sees it he's not gonna he's not i mean he's just blindly uh going about it as he sees him with, with, with his brother and when, 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 how he's dealing with his situation how he leans so much of even though spencer I meaning wrigley is not perfect right how how is drew right. uh, going uh, about it with the whole situation um i think he's just doing what he's usually done is going with the flow you know he's um He's pretty used to being in his brother's shadow, but I don't think it's a big problem uh, with him. I think he's used to that. So, um, you know, he if he ever did have a problem, I think he would go to his older brother for advice or help. And so he's just doing the same thing in this moment. And he thinks that it'll probably all be okay. You, even if, you know, his brother probably isn't giving him the best advice. And when it comes to Drew looking up to Ridley, it's also literally, he literally looks up to Rick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I, I think I, I have one, one minute, one, one minute. So well, a question okay. for, for everyone. And I think that, I mean, this is for people that, that, that read the book and, and the book is mostly fa focused on Lucy and Spencer. You're, you're, you're added to the, you added value to me in my book, to the, to the whole story. What can mm -hmm. they expect? What can they expect if you're coming just from the book? into the series, they saw a trailer, you just seen Steven and Lucy as, as a scope of it, but to me it's too much, so much more with the, what you guys added and the girls added. Brandon, what can they expect? Uh, they can expect an expanded universe. Uh, we, we've been able to dig more into the characters. Thank you, Spencer. Uh, dig more into the characters, uh, some of the side characters that also influence the main characters. And we, we've been able, because we have 10 episodes, hour long, we're able to dig into these people's lives uh, a little more. Spencer, what do you want to add? What do they expect? Uh, I didn't necessarily read the book, but I, I think you're going to have a great time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Benjamin, do you want to add something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think you just get to know these characters a little better. You know, the book mainly focuses on Lucy and a bit of Steven, but uh, it goes more in depth onto the, the rest of the ensemble and you get to see 
uh, what their a bit more of their college life or their their background when it comes to their family and friends. Yeah, I, all of you did great, uh, Spencer and, and Benjamin. I want to take my ass a high of to you, two you, of you, 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 what you did with your relationship. I know people thank are going to feel it. So thank congratulations you. once again, and thank you for taking your time. Thank you so much. Thank Mark. you. Thank you, Raphael. Thank you.